from Tampa Bay's streaming news leader. Brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. This is ABC Action News. I'm Dia Riley. It's going to be a beautiful day across the Bay Area today. Greg will have your full forecast coming up, but first I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. More than 50 moms from the Tampa Bay Area and who are members of the group Moms Demand Action are in Tallahassee today. They're on a mission to get lawmakers to pass gun control laws. They want to keep guns from domestic abusers, create a, u a universal background check for gun purchases, and close gun show loopholes. A new study shows the majority of Hillsborough County roads are considered unsafe for bicyclists and most don't have bike lanes or if they do, they're so narrow that cyclists ride right next to traffic. Cyclists say they feel they're putting their lives at risk biking in the Bay Area. Because the more complaints that build up, the more they'll see there's a problem that needs to be fixed. I wouldn't want to get like um, caught up in anything and then there's flowers because I lost my life because of all of this, so it's important. Hillsborough County is considering options to help improve safety, uh, like bike signals just for cyclists or bike boxes where cyclists can wait for a green light. If you're in a flood zone, you need to buy flood insurance to protect your home and your valuables, but flood zone maps are changing. Homeowners in Coastal Citrus and Hernando counties can preview FEMA's revised flood insurance rate maps today from 4 to 7 in Spring Hill. You can learn what the new maps mean for your property and discuss your flood risks with specialists. A traffic issue you need to know about, Alt-19 is going to be closed overnight tonight and tomorrow to allow crews to pour the concrete decks for the new Pinellas Trail bridges in Palm Harbor. Workers lifted the steel trusses into place in December. The bridges should open for pedestrian traffic by the end of the month. Construction begins today on a project to build a new place to run, walk, or bike in western Pasco County. Officials held a groundbreaking ceremony this morning for the Coastal and Cloat Trail. When it's completed next year, the four and a half mile, 12 foot wide paved trail will connect three Pasco County parks to the Pinellas Trail. Today would certainly be a great day to get out and enjoy it, Greg. Absolutely, Dia. This is one of those days where you just want to be outside, whether it's work or school, you're looking out the window wishing you were out there. And if you're lucky enough to have the day off, spend it outside. Temperatures near 80, it's not going to feel all that hot because the humidity is still relatively comfortable. Sunny skies to start the day. A few scattered clouds for the afternoon and evening. Looks like a beauty out there. We've got another one tomorrow, then some changes for the weekend. Get your updated weekend forecast by downloading the ABC Action News app. Do you. All right, thanks, Greg. Today is National Frozen Yogurt Day, and several Bay Area yogurt shops are offering you some deals. Both Yogurtology and TCBY are giving out free six ounce Froyos. Yogurtland, Minchies, and Yogurt Mountain have special BOGO deals today as well. You can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device, and don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app to receive breaking news alerts. This ABC Action News Brief was brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. Bicyclists always wear a helmet and ride in the same direction of traffic on the street because safety doesn't happen by accident.